This video is intended to go more in depth on the Unify Evict workflow, which was added to this latest update of Hardop. So to start out, I will just take this box and just set it up by just scaling it and running a bevel, putting a weighted normal on it, maybe even adding a second bevel by control shift clicking bevel and pressing X to just drop that bevel at half since we can't see it anyways. I'll press F to bring up my kit ops window and we're just going to go under the subsets of hard ops and just bring in a couple of our favorites. All right. And if we want to do it even faster, we can shift click this inside the Q menu in order to keep this up and then we can just actually drag these onto the surface and then come back here scroll for another one drag it to the surface scroll it to change the scale locate another classic I actually like this one the little three three ply all right and here we are set up so on this scene that I'm looking at let's say I was wanting to render this uh, it, should, it would be fine. All these wires are not, not, not going to show up in the render because they're non-renderable. However, if I were to jump between the layers by pressing 1, 2, and 3, you would see that things are actually kind of all over the place. In fact, it actually gets very problematic when I get to the inserts and I start pressing 1, 2, 3, and I am start jumping through all of these layers. So an easier way to deal with things would be to just activate both layers. And we'll actually select this object which is on the collection. And if we go under the settings, there's now an option for Unify and Evict. Unify will actually bring everything into the scene that is relevant. And this means that when I press one, this is what I'll see. And when I press two, three, and four, that's, that's what I'll see there, which we can deal with that another time. And that's actually where Evict comes in. Evict will actually remove irrelevant things and place them in what's called the Cutters Collection, which is currently what I've deemed to be the garbage area for things. In the future, we'll have customizable names for such things, but at this time, it just places them in the Cutters. But that, in a nutshell, is why um, Evict and Unify exist. Sorry, forgot for a moment. So if we press F, or actually, that was D. If we press F, we can also bring up Decal Machine by clicking on the KitOps panel. And KitOps is good for placing in Boolean-based objects, but Decal Machine, it knows what it's good at. It's decals, and it's the best at them. So I love just bringing in decals and just placing them because it's ever so fast. I'm already set up into Snap. I can just press F, jump in here again. I don't even need to be under my particular, uh, I don't even need to have the model selected, but as you can see, KitOps and Decal Machine both have a very specific style of placing thing. But because I just roll out the box with default settings, I never change Decal Machine to insert in my active collection. So I have the same problem as I do with KitOps. And I just wanna show that this tool that was created was made to solve problems that existed with both of these problems that I possibly created. So we'll click on Unify, and now we are unified. We are unified back to layer one. We press one. Here's what we're looking at. We jump into render. So far, so good. Let's give this a blank material with our scroll. And everything's coming up millhouse. In fact, we can select both of these and just choose VMatch. And we can just scroll through what materials we actually want. One of my favorite features of Decal Machine. We'll select all of these and really give VMatch to test. I want the metal and then I want to press D. Oh. A shift scroll for the other side. My apologies. So the tool is behaving exactly as it's supposed to. But now we have everything unified and matching in the proper layer. So if I were to press F, 
you know, old habits die hard. I could have an opportunity to go in my preferences for decal machine, actually correct what collection I'm inserting in. I do not have this luxury for kit ops, however. So we'll just grab one of our Mr. Rad inserts. And we see that he was actually inserted all the way back in decal. So we need to at least make sure that that collection is enabled or else additional problems will occur. But we'll just duplicate this on the surface a couple of times. You know, press F to bring up our loader. And we'll click. I'm so used to using decal machine that I just can't stop. So we'll find another insert. I love this insert. And we'll go in and grab another classic, maybe the switch. And we'll just place it here. And so all I gotta do is just have an active selection, go under settings, choose unify. And I could also even choose to evict at this point. Evicting should remove all the wireframes so that when I press one, I am seeing only what I wanna see, which is the solid objects that would result in a render. So. This tool exists primarily because I'm a bit of a, um, I'm a bit of an obsessant when it comes to controlling my outliner and jumping around with one, two, and three. But hopefully that should give more insight into the Unify slash Evict tool.